I can't explain it, but I love listening to Miranda Lambert when I ride a motorcycle. Just pulled over at this person's house. I wanted to set up my 360 camera, give you a view of that. Then the excellent lights on the Northern 901, Husqvarna Northern 901 Expedition. Give you a look at the front. The emergency flashers was new for this year on the Norden. The the 890 KTM 890 had emergency flashers last year, I believe. I think they did something with the exhaust, the muffler on the bike for two, 2024, and. Uh, not much changes after that that I know of. But I've been remiss in letting in letting my viewers know that I purchased a new bike. And I think most of you kind of knew what bike it was going to be after I did the walk around review on it. And uh, I did one reveal video that I haven't posted where I ride the bike in the rain. I wasn't happy. I really didn't have any 360 footage of that video to post. And I really wanted to give you guys a decent reveal video. I didn't have much sun, although it looks like there are some nice clear skies over there. We'll see if I can get you some clear skies. want to sync my helmet camera with uh, the 360 camera. I think everything's rolling. So I have, I've recorded so many videos on this bike that I haven't posted and I neglected to make a video of me actually telling you that I purchased the bike and I did. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'll try to keep it short, which for me a short video is 20, 15 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. I'm going to try to keep it short, but give you a decent ride on the Norton and uh, just take you along for the ride. Again, I'll state per my video where I did the walk around on the bike inside because it was too too bad outside, too much salt on the road outside to do the video. This bike is, I believe, very much at par with the premium midside bikes in this category. Um, in fact, it might even be in some terms the leader. I think it was the best midsize motorcycle I could buy and what pushes it to number one is the the, having the fuel tank low on the chassis, very low, by my feet, and this bike has a very light feel to it. And that's what made this bike number one contender for me, because as you know, I have my, my left knee is marginal, although from working out it's gotten a lot better. But this bike was just at the top with electronics. The, the weight and feel of the bike, the suspension, it has a KTM 890 suspension on it, and it was just, uh, and it, it comes nearly, nearly ready to ride off-road. Off Let's give it some loose. So there's, I'll, I'll go briefly over some things. There's four rider modes on this bike. There's street, rain, off-road, and then explore. And I haven't gotten into explore yet. I used rain on a rainy ride. But then again, I really didn't, you know, I used throttle control and common sense and just put it in the street. And off-road, if I take this off-road, I'm definitely going to be, that's what I'm going to use. Uh, if I take it to the Allegheny National Forest and ride this bike off-road. So, oh my mount, I have a tough time keeping a mount on this camera. I'm sorry if it's crooked. 
I apologize. So, and then there's a, the premium KTM 18, 890 uh, uh, suspension that's sister company with Husqvarna that's on this bike. And, you know, just premium, premium suspension components. And then when you get past the electronics, the suspension, the top, the horse top class, only the, the Ducati Desert X has more horsepower, 110 horsepower. This is 105. And I've demonstrated the phenomenal torque of the engine. Uh, it w this was just it. At less than half the price of my Ducati, once you add in the accessories, this bike was uh, number one on my list to purchase mid-size bike and it took me some time to get there and I pulled the trigger on it and and I'm really excited to show you this bike and you'll see it in more videos to come I might have to pull over and straighten my uh, this camera I hope the mount's not falling off All right, so that seems to be better, give you a better look. Let's give you, give you a little bit of a, I always, whenever I try to do a power shift, I always do a bad job. She's just a runner. That's not even full throttle. She, this bike just dances. She just dances. Uh, I did do the first oil change, I have a video on that. I put accessories on the bike, foot pegs, crash bars for the upper body, if you can see them. I'll cut to the 360 camera for that. Um, I just, and I have more accessories to come. I have the, the panniers that came with the bike, I don't usually put them on. When I ride, I'll show you the, the Moscow Moto. Uh, duffel 50 liter bag that I have. I really prefer that. I like to run the bike without the panniers. And she is just a fun bike. And there's so many good bikes, mid-size adventure bikes on the market. There's just so many at different price ranges. I have a video that gets into that discusses why I didn't buy the other I think that's an excellent video and this bike is just uh, for me for me this is the best bike in the category for me and it, as it ends up it's a great value for what you get on the bike um, wow, got a little wind blast from that truck for what you get on the bike you get all the as, K, as you know KTM Husqvarna on other bikes they charge you for the electronic upgrades like Cruise on this bike it's included along with the kickstand along with the panniers along with the better suspension I think for roughly $1,500 $1,600 more than the base Nord it's a great value Especially when you look at the suspension and then you get the electronics, the center stand, the panniers. This is what you have to deal with farmers and God bless them. You know, I'll put up with their mud on the road. And I'm just going to, for some reason, the car will switch to the radio, but I'll I'll listen to the radio while I'm doing this video. Focus on the road. She just runs. She's she's up. She's excellent on the throughway. 
maybe a little more wind blast on my body than the Ducati. There might be a, a cruiser bike in my future, not a tour. My first choice for that would be a Honda Goldwing from my friend Dan at Hamburg Honda. But my, she is pretty good, at, actually very good for a mid-sized ADB bike on the throughway. And uh, she's just excellent, premium premium so I think I've run discussed the positive things on the motorcycle and I want to mention at least I want to mention some of the negatives and one of the negatives is Husqvarna KTM reliability and quality I knew that when I was purchasing this motorcycle that 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 they have some issues with their quality I did purchase a, a, a five-year warranty with the bike and extended warranty and I bought it from a local dealer who I like very much and trust very much same dealer Hevler's sales and service in Lockport New York who I purchased the KTN EXC F500 and I have had one issue with the bike that I will do a video on that and my Hebler's sales and service repaired it very quickly and honestly and Husqvarna forwarded them but the parts needed quickly on it so I knew I knew when I was going with this brand their performance orientated and I also knew that there could be some quality issues and hopefully I have my quality issue behind me and I'll have a separate video on that issue at a later date uh, the second thing that is a little bothersome is the cruise control is so sensitive when you roll the throttle forward it disengages the cruise control but i found that it's ultra set between the suspension it kicks out just like it did now and i didn't even rock it forward so i think i have to adjust the suspension and take stiffen up the suspension for my body weight and that will keep me from from when I hit a bump rocking my hand forward see how I just did it I'm, and, and that could be me so I try to keep my hand see how it keeps clicking off I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong with my hand placement so the cruise I don't hit a bump and the cruise control doesn't kick off um, so cruise control first is is quality control next is the sensitivity of the cruise control shutting off via the throttle um, we'll see if I if I stiffen the suspension if it will keep me from rocking too much with my body weight and we can resolve that this road they usually salt the heck out of it Guys, that's, that's the only two criticisms I have on this bike. And I have over 700 miles on it. So I've been riding this bike. We've had an amazing February. It was 70 some degrees in February. So I made a lot of videos during that warm weather time. And Today it's reading 43 degrees on the bike, although my phone says it's 39 degrees. This, she's a powerhouse. She is just a powerhouse. I'm, I, I couldn't be happier, and the engine keeps running better and better. The engine is, the two things were the engine and the KTM suspension. I forgot that those were critical in the decision, but I forgot one other thing I failed to tell you. 
I do backflips over the looks of this motorcycle. The color, I just love the blue color of the bike and that it comes with driving lights and this this old school this old school retro single headlight that's been modernized at night that round headlight is phenomenal phenomenal it's 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 amazing just the headlight is just fantastic at night so I know if those of you who are watching my channel know that I, I always say whatever you're buying and there's salt on the road guys or not so much salt, little salt but there's salt. Um, so that's why I'm taking the turns extra slow. You have to like the looks of what you're buying. A car, a motorhome, an ATV. Uh, a side-by-side -side motorcycle because most of the time it sits in your garage you're looking at in your garage or you're working on it and when you're riding it you really can't see it so I I love the color of this bike I just think it's phenomenal and it was uh, the looks of the bike not only the color but the styling I think I think Husqvarna knocked it out of the park. I really do. I think they did a phenomenal job. My brother said, oh, that Harley, oh, your bike has 105 horsepower. Harleys have a lot more torque. They do have a lot more torque. But for just under 900 cc's, this, this motorcycle is phenomenal. And give you a, let me look here and pull out. She just runs. And, and I think it's I think the low end torque for what it is is excellent. Excellent. So, Marauders, this is what I purchased my mid sized bike uh, motorcycle, and I'm hoping my strength in my legs has really improved with the gym. It's really improved, and my upper body strength has always been pretty good, but that's in shape. I've lost over 100 pounds, and uh, at least 50 since May, 30 since I joined the gym. I'll do a video on that soon. I know a lot of you have been asking me for help, and I promise you uh, you'll see that video in the next month or sooner. Got to I... Remember, this my Ducati has 170 horsepower. This bike, I don't know what type of camera view it might have. I should pull over and adjust the camera. As a, Ducati has 170 horsepower. This bike has 105 horsepower. But this bike is over 100 pounds lighter. And when I ride it, it is just fun. I can't say that enough. It is just fun fun and it's fun because it is so light the bike is just so light it's fun to ride and and that was probably at the you know at the top of the list is having that ever came up with it putting the fuel low on this bike by your feet on the chassis from Husqvarna and KTM just ingenious my opinion all motorcycles should be like that except maybe a BMW GS 1300 because they got their big cylinder sticking out well um, it is just a light fun quick bike to ride and I'm just really enjoying it
I'm going to pull over here and I'm going to adjust this camera. Hopefully these people won't mind. I'm pulling in front of their driveway. So we'll wrap this video up, Marauders. Um, by the way, you can see I installed the Garmin Zumo XT, which says Ducati on it. Came with the Multistrada V4 Rally as one of my accessories. You can see I mounted. Uh, Dad has a mount. Awesome. And I'm following the track I usually follow. And uh, I'm just loving it, guys. Just loving it. I'll give you a little more footage of the bike. Please, if you have any comments or questions about it, please feel free to ask in the comments section below. If you want my attention on comments, Please start a new comment. If you comment and want me to respond, I don't always see the follow-up comments. So don't ever hesitate to start a new comment because those pop up in my YouTube studios and I usually always catch those. So, that I So Marauders, I... So many good things have happened in my life, and uh, I'm blessed in so many ways with my family, my wife, my children, my customers, my business, my health. I went for a little bit backwards with my health with diabetes, and then I went backwards with my, my knee issue. Half my knee is bone on bone, and I changed my way of life. Look at that baby. Love it. I changed my way of life, my lifestyle, to get in shape, to ride motorcycles, especially the KTM uh, dual sport off-road, and also these motorcycles. And have really been working hard six days a week, two hours in the gym, at, up at four o'clock in the morning during the week to get to the gym when they lock the doors at five. It has reaped so many benefits, but I will tell you, get ready for this, guys, especially you diabetics. My blood, my glucose is perfect, better than perfect, and I have been on no diabetic medicine for over two months. In fact, I'm going to finish this route the way I normally do. I've been on no diabetic medicine for over two months blood sugar has been perfect. So that was a little bit of an unexpected surprise from working out that my my blood sugar I it was improved my my A I think it's A1C levels have been excellent below five and uh, my been pharmacy ran out of the one medicine that I was still taking can't get it because everyone's using it to diet and uh, I have been off it for going six weeks and my glucose levels are outstanding. So praise the Lord and all of you for inspiring me to, to get in shape for these videos and to ride motorcycles. It has been a wonderful lifestyle change that has been a lot of work but it's, it's paid off in a health benefit. That's it, Marauders. I awesome motorcycle. By, by the way, it's 43 degrees without the wind chill. You can see the instrumentation on the motorcycle is excellent. I have my climb gear on, my Dionese pants, but I'm sitting on a heated seat. And a heated seat and heated grips and I am, uh, my hands are warm and my foot warm is warm, it's just awesome. So I'll leave you with that guys, I'll leave you with that.
Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and liking the video, subscribing to my channel. Liking the video, subscribing to my channel, sharing it with a friend. Please comment. I love your comments. Thank you, guys. God bless all of you. I hope you're enjoying whatever hobbies that you're interested in. Thank you.